And we're back with more Andrew Fox Show. Did you enjoy uh, the break there? Breaks are my favorite thing now. Um, our first <laughs> guest is a stand-up comedian. He's also a record producer. Would you say that's fair? That's accurate. Yeah. yeah? Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Dan Getz. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, how's it going? Man? Welcome to the show. Hello. How you doing? Good. I like your shirt. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I know that guy. Yeah, he's uh, still active. Is he still active? Okay, that's the, I guess that's the I thought he was dead. He, is, he, he survived at least till present. Is there a blank spot so when he does die, you can fill it in? Oh, I just have a piece of tape ready. Oh, okay. <laughs> exactly measured out the right. Yeah. Hey, tell us about uh, Wasted Robot Records. No, Wasted Robot Records is a label. We just recorded our first album. If Mike Brooks watched this, we recorded it like, in January. How do you do? Mike Brooks has been he on the show. Crushed. Did he? Yeah, he. It's. It was amazing. So like, you didn't regret choosing him for your first guy. There before? was. There was a minute where I was like, <laughs> yeah. God, Mike, please just put this together. <laughs> he, he was like, start to finish. He was the first guy we went to. And oh, yeah. He brought it. He was amazing. That's like, great. And like he, he packed the room. We sold out like it's way more than right? expected. It was just one actually. Oh, one show. Yeah, we we were gonna do two, and then we were talking to the venue, and they were like, we don't know how to get people out. Mm -hmm. So we're like, all right, we'll just pack it in for one and hope he gets it. And he did. He nailed it. So if this record goes gold, will you be one of the people who gets one of those gold albums? Yeah, that's uh, that's really why. <laughs> <laughs> I want a framed record. That's it. And buy lots of cocaine. <laughs> oh, yeah, to put on top of the record. Yeah, yeah. Not, not to do it, just to have it and then wipe it off. I'm like, look, I have it. <laughs> what was uh, the inspiration behind that, that would start a record label? It was, it was something that we'd kind of been tossing around yeah and then uh i guess i'll give uh glenn Tickle a shout out for circus Treppy's records he's in like Blee High. okay and then, and comedian. yeah he's great and uh, tyler rothrock put out an album with him he was just telling me about like oh, yeah this is just what you do and then i was like oh wow i can, I do, can do that all those <laughs> things. Nice. would uh you ever consider giving uh, james a shot yeah james is looking yeah james got a car <laughs> in the can right i mean it's it's definitely like a sitting next to me, yes. <laughs> I'd, have, I'd have to front up all the money beforehand. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll find a menu that won't kick you out. <laughs> uh, and you produce uh, monthly showcases too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do a, a show in Elkins Park that I host every month, and then we have a headliner feature, just like a three person show. And, uh, okay. Yeah, uh, so. How long have you been doing it? Uh, just started back up in January, but it did like six or seven months out of the year last year. Yeah. It took the last. October through December off, but okay. What's what's it like producing a stand up comedy show? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that was funny. That's a very valid what's question. What's like producing to a comedy show in general? We're, we need some no. It's we need some pointers there. It's the easiest and the hardest thing in the yeah. entire world because everybody wants to be on a show, so it's easy to find people to put oh, a yeah. show together. Mm. But then actually having people come watch people That's the worst. is impossible. I think more people want to do comedy than see comedy. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> and then the people who do show up think that they can do comedy. So yeah, why don't you put me on? I'm here. I'm getting pretty good at that. Yeah. So, That's basically how I've gotten away with that. <laughs> <laughs> when is your show? next show? Uh, <laughs> not that we're <laughs> intending to show up. Um, third Saturday, <laughs> third Saturday of every month. Um, <laughs> So what do you prefer more at this point? Um, I'm producing way more than I'm writing. Yeah. So like stand up has become like oh, I'm gonna do the same thing I've been doing whatever. But yeah. then like more active attention is going to producing. So mm -hmm. at least right now that's more of the focus mm -hmm. I think. But I mean it goes in waves. Because when you do perform stand up, you gotta run into like a bunch of crazy obstacles like uh, gongs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's that's a real thing. How did you? <laughs> Yeah, I was really like, come across a yeah, I was, I was, like, <laughs> I was probably five minutes into a ten minute set, and this guy just started like hovering around the stage. Uh -huh. and I'm like, have you ever done a Fenris show? Do you know a Fenris yeah, show? I know Fenris. I've never done a Fenris. A, show. a Fenris show is basically a show where you're like, oh, this guy hovering around the stage is probably meant to happen. Uh -huh. So like, you don't really think anything of it. Yeah. But then when the guy just slowly walked behind me, I forgot about him, and then just in the middle of the set, he picked up a gong and just. <laughs> happens to be there like he, no one brought it it was just there and he just crashed the gong in the middle of my set and then afterwards tried to tell me that he helped me 
Uh, <laughs> which, was the timing nice on the gong? Oh, no. No. Uh, no. It, it was like two words into the setup of another ah. show. He was like, before I did it, your set was like, okay. But then after I did it, it was great. I was like, you really gave it to me. And I was like, that wasn't. Like, like, that, like all, all me giving it to him was just me going, oh, I don't. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> like just shaking, like planted, like I couldn't move, like just frightened for my life of like what the hell just happened. James, you were there, right? No, uh, not I at this show. There, huh? I was there at another yeah, James, interesting night. James saw a different Fenris <laughs> set for me. <laughs> <laughs> also. Did that, did that set need a going? Uh, oh, it, it could have helped. <laughs> I think it devolved into Dan going to Popeye the Sailor's uh, Wikipedia and just reading off Popeye facts. No, see, <laughs> I, I wish that were the case. I was saying things that I knew as fact, which I probably shouldn't know. There's no reason for me to know but it was causing other people to go to the Wikipedia and go, like, oh, that's real! That's real! Like, Popeye has a nephew whose name is Poopeye. That's a real thing. That's a very odd. Yeah, you know, that's the thing you say to a room and they go, nah, you're fucking joking. There's no way. And then they go, like, no, it's real! Would you consider him a big uh, comedic influence? Popeye? Yeah. Um, Did you grow up on Popeye? I, I feel like at this point, it's not a safe thing to tie yourself to Popeye. He wasn't a good person. Oh, uh, yeah. He's all tangled up in the Me Too movement. Right yeah. So. I, don't, I don't know that I want to go down that path with Popeye. He will not be a guest on this show. Uh, yeah. He's been banned. But uh, another fun thing you like to do? Is watch a basketball halftime show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that is probably how or I. A cool thing. It's a cool thing. Yeah, that's right. It's a, it's a cool thing. We just, we, yeah. What's um, the? Uh, what's the I, I found out that? on on Reddit you can watch the streams and they show you what's happening in the arena uh -huh. instead of cutting to commercial. So like I've seen some of the most like random weird stuff. Like the one time it was a, a Portland Trailblazers game, uh -huh. and they were like, "We're gonna do '90s name that tune." And it was just all these like '90s one-hit wonders, and the last one was a Baja Men song, you know, the one Baja Men song. And what is it? Uh, I, I wish I knew it was second. Who let the dogs out? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> they ended that segment, and the whole thing was apparently just an advertisement for the twelfth album from the Baja Men that was coming oh, really? out the next day. Were they there? Uh, no. Oh, like there, there was there was no reason for it to be tied in. It was just like here's a thing, but like. I watched I watched a group of mascots for like one of the mascots' birthdays <laughs> just play musical chairs with each other on inflatable furniture. Uh -huh. And it devolved into the mascots just throwing furniture at each other. <laughs> and like the the game was fine, yeah. but like the halftime show was way better than anything <laughs> that happened in the game. Like I I've seen multiple elderly dance crews. <laughs> that, <laughs> That's the thing I've like learned. Line dancing? It, it was like hip hop dancing. Really? Like, there, there were like each city apparently just has their own elderly dance crew, oh, nice. and on on like one night out of the year, every team does it. So like I'll be watching like multiple games at once. <laughs> and, like, they all generally start around the same time. So at at the same time, I was watching three out of the six games were elderly dance teams at the same time. Nice. It was any broken fun. hips. No, no. That actually, the one, the one. It was also the same time as that. Uh, like the mascots playing musical chairs, uh -huh. and instead of the mascots playing musical chairs in the one place, they had the elderly dance team come back out and play musical chairs, <laughs> and still no injury. Wow, and no gongs. <laughs> yeah, nothing there. No, no. <laughs> um, well, what was the deal with uh, at the Phillies World Series? Yeah. Oh yeah, so I had I had an incident at the Phillies World Series where like. I ended up in the hospital after they won. Okay. The, which was it related? Eh, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> they, they were giving away free monster, and then I had a panic attack because like I had too much monster. Uh, I can't <laughs> like, you know, it was not a thing that I had experience with. Mm -hmm. But because of that, I was twenty-one years old. They're like, "You're way too young to have these problems." Oh no. So for the rest of the week, they were doing all these different testing things. Mm. So. The, just the timing for the parade, I had a like little kid's backpack just with a jar of my own urine in it. 
that I just had to have with me all day because I had to collect a full 24 hours. So I was just like, like weaving my way through the parade like nobody asked. <laughs> like, nobody, nobody checked my bag. Which, that isn't really bizarre for Philly sports fans. No, like, I, I was kind of wishing. You probably like, weren't the only one with the earring in oh, your bag. No. <laughs> if I had remembered that story in time, I would have done the same thing for the Eagles parade. Like, exactly. <laughs> And then you could throw it or drink it. Yeah, right. Do you see the guy eat horse shit? <laughs> <laughs> I don't, did they figure out who that guy? Did they know who He's that? dead now. <laughs> I was very low self esteem. He killed himself. <laughs> he fell from one of those grease poles. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, so beyond producing shows and doing stand up yourself, you also uh, do music videos. Yeah, I, you're like I, a renaissance man. I've done two music videos, <laughs> yeah. which the one was it was Megan Getz and Fenris made a song. Yeah, we talked about that when she was on the show. Yeah, it's I love the song. Yeah, and like she sent me the lyrics and she's like, "Do you think you could do something with this?" And I was uh -huh. like, "Yeah, like <laughs> I could probably put something together." And then like before the song was even finished, I had a video like, wow. basically ready for it. I just had to like time out. Yeah, and then a couple of people saw that one, and I had. Like a handful of people like, hey, what about me? <laughs> like, I just did a uh, uh, song "Morning People" for Todd Chappelle. Nice, like, yeah, it was a funny song. Like, he's like, hey, what about me? I'm like, okay, cool. What's that song? It's a uh, "Morning People." Mm -hmm. It's basically about how morning people suck. Okay. <laughs> and uh, people can go to your website and request to work with request yeah. you to do the animation for them. Yeah. So like, I do like flyers and banners and posters and all that stuff and cartoons. And if you go to my website, dannygets.com. I'll put a thing right here. If you go to dannyguts.com, because I couldn't get Dan Guts because it felt weird. But it was too short for me to want to say it out loud that many times, but Danny Guts feels a little bit better. But yeah, if you go there, you can just send requests and I'll do it, which has yielded a couple of results. Nice. Do you work, collaborate with Ben Fiddler sometimes? Yeah, actually, basically my whole start in comedy was working with Ben. Okay. Because he, he was running Puck in Doylestown. And then that's where I started doing stand-up. And then after about a year of doing it there, he was like, hey, what about helping? And then for like the next two years of my life, I was there every week. Nice. Like, I'm like, and like, he had a kid, he disappeared. And became like, <laughs> me and my one friend, uh, Matt Lips, were basically running the mic in his absence. And that's how you became the master comedy producer. Yeah, we used to do a monthly show there too. Like, it yeah. of, just like got dropped in. I was like, here, do make it work. I was like, all right, cool. <laughs> So besides uh, DannyGets.com, is there any other web presence you want to plug? Uh, yeah, WastedRobotRecords.com, WastedRobotRecords.com, WastedRobot.com, one or the other. One of those work? I, I, right. Sometimes we were able to get it, and other times we weren't. I always forget which one's which. But Just keep trying until you find it. Yeah. Uh, we have like merch and stuff on Wasted Robot. That's we'll sweet. have the album for sale. Well, uh, thanks for coming, man. Yeah, thanks for having me. It was a real pleasure. Thank you. Dang yes, everybody. We'll be right back.